Not drafting George Kittle, not drafting Odell Beckham. Let's have our analysts explain that right now on Fantasy Football Today in 5. All right, here we go. We got Dan Schneier and Heath Cummings here to talk about players on their do not draft list. And it's all about the ADP. It's all about the cost. So, Dan, you get to go first. George Kittle, 33rd overall. That's too expensive for you. Yeah, too rich for my blood. I don't think any of his injury history is being baked into his ADP right now. And he's had multiple reoccurring injuries, including the one to the foot. And then if you look at the potential for this offensive system to change, going back to Shanahan's past when he had RG3, he was able to run the zone read in the RPO. What that does is it makes it offense run through the X receiver and it makes it run through the run game in the zone read because it forces that overhang defender, which is the linebacker safety hybrid slot to make a decision on every play. And so if that's the case and the offense is running more through the X. I think that George Kittle's targets come down. With that in mind and the injury history, it's a really rich ADP right now. Heath, your response. Yeah, I mean, it's always interesting which players we choose to uh, worry about the injuries with and which players we don't. Kittle's had really one season over the last three that was impacted by injuries negatively. He played 15 games and 14 games the other two years. I don't know if he's going to get hurt or not, but if he stays healthy, I think he's going to smash at a late third round ADP. So I'm willing to take the risk there. Okay. How about Odell Beckham? Heath, that's the guy that's on your do not draft list. Talk about injury risk. (laughs) Yeah. Probably the most injury uh, prone wide receiver in football. 72nd overall for Beckham. But on the bright side, he's not that good when he's healthy. So (laughs) that really helps the other side of it. He hasn't been the same player in Cleveland. The the catch rate isn't the same. They're using him in more deep routes. They're now got an offense where they're going to run the ball 35 times a game and not really throw it. The elite upside is not there. The end of season injury risk is certainly there. So I just don't really want to have him on my team, period. I certainly don't want to draft him at the end of the sixth round. I wouldn't take him until round eight. Dan? My rebuttal to that would be that Odo Beckham Jr., while he hasn't been the same player in Cleveland, hasn't actually had a chance to operate with Baker Mayfield at his best. Last year, we saw Baker take a big step forward with Kevin Stefanski in that offense. We saw that offensive line play out of their mind. It's going to be the best in football again. And so with that in mind, the offense working better, Baker Baker Mayfield, as a better and more efficient quarterback, it will only help Odell Beckham there. And I think you're not the, you don't have to invest too much in him at this current ADP. And so there's a lot of room for upside there. And, you know, another rebuttal, I I talked about this uh, a few days ago when we were talking about Beckham, he scored 17 fantasy points against the Bengals. He scored 38 fantasy points against Dallas. The other four games were against Baltimore, Washington, Indianapolis, and Pittsburgh. The same pattern emerged in 2019, he be, because he doesn't get a lot of targets, he's basically a matchups guy. So is that is that good? No, but if you consider him that way, where he's got a good matchup, green light, you start him, then you might be able to have some value there. You might be able to turn that into something really good. He starts with Kansas City and Houston. There could be a lot of passes thrown in those two games, or at least in the Kansas City game, and then Houston's terrible. So uh, you could treat him that way. Um, Heath and and then yeah, Heath. Any, anything to say about that? Just kind of using him as a matchups guy, but in a very predictable way. I don't want to use a sixth round pick on a streaming wide receiver. Yeah, okay, I think that's pretty fair. Um, anything else here for uh, for Kittle or Beckham, Dan? We got about thirty seconds left. I'm only thing I would add for Kittle is I agree with Keith that. I am generally, it's better to be injury agnostic, but when those injuries occur over and over in the same area, that's when I start to get worried. If you have a random ACL tear, that's a little bit different than a reoccurring injury, especially for such a physical player like Kittle is. All right. It sounded like you called Heath Keith, which is great because we get a lot of funny emails <laughs> in regards to that. So, oh, no. So fire them up. That's Keith and Dan. I'm Adam. <laughs> How you going, everybody? This is Fantasy Football Today in 5. We'll be back tomorrow.